The Meteor 350 has arrived. The Royal Enfield collected the Super Meteor 650 the other day and swapped it with this Meteor 350 in supernova yellow. Now, somebody at Royal Enfield is very much into space, or maybe they're a bit spaced out. One of the two, I'm not sure. Today's video is sponsored by Gothic Jewellery. Gothic is an online jewellery outlet which produces some really high quality products at some of the best prices on the market. Um, I'm going to say a few more things about the Meteor in this video, but first on to Harley Davidson and the haters that we get on the Harley Davidson comments sometimes. Uh, so let's start with that. We've just done three Harley Davidson reviews on the trot. Darcy did too. I did the last one, the Harley Davidson Street Glide Special Touring Bike. Beautiful, wonderful bike. But we get so many venomous comments on the Harley Davidson videos. It's a terrible shame because they're beautiful bikes. Uh, but the haters just don't get it. They don't understand what the bikes are like. But if you like the modern classics, the Royal Enfields, the Triumph Bonnevilles and bikes of that ilk, there's no reason why you shouldn't like Harley Davidson. They're very much on the same vein. American styled on the same vein. Uh, not the British style, to like the traditional British style, but it doesn't matter, they're this, very much the same sort of bike. So uh, it, we shouldn't, I hope we don't get haters from that kind of genre because there's no reason to. A lot of the hate seems to come from people that say that the Harley Davidsons are sort of backwards technology wise. Uh, but if you think about it, the mechanical analog type of product, whether it's a motorcycle, car, whatever, they're always better than the technologically, electronically advanced types of bikes and cars because those sort of things just go wrong all the time, don't they? How many Range Rovers do you hear about that the sensors are going, well we had one, there's always something going wrong uh, with a silly little sensor. Uh, and the poor guy who owns the bike in five or six years time is just going to have nothing but trouble electronically, whereas these mechanical bikes are strong, proven and reliable. So there's a good reason to like these traditional, classic, uh, retro type of bikes, if you like. So I said in my video of the Harley Davidson uh, Street Glide Special that it's the best, or if not one of the best touring bikes on the planet. And there's a reason for that. Let me go into it. Now for me, the first thing when buying a motorcycle that it has to have is good looks. It's got to look beautiful. And these old style bikes, the classic styled bikes, the retro style bikes, traditional style bikes, if you like, just look beautiful. And if I was gonna tour a thousand miles, ride down through France to Monaco or something, I wanna turn up on a cool looking bike. A lot of people mentioned the Honda Goldwing or the BMW K something, which I've never ridden. I have ridden the Goldwing and it is a superb bike. It is absolutely pin sharp perfect, but it looks like a huge plastic scooter. And in my books, that's a non-starter. And the BMW K thing, even worse in terms of looks, it's just a plastic pointy sort of thing. I'm not gonna turn up on that no matter how good it is at crunching the miles. Personally, and I'm not dissing the bike, you know, they are good, but for me, it's got to look right from the start. So that's why I'd say the Harley Davidsons are the best touring bikes on the planet, because one, they look cool, and then secondly, when you get on the bike, it rides beautifully, and it, with the right exhaust pipe, sounds magnificent, and it goes really well too. It's a brilliant bike. So that's the reason why I say that they're the best bikes on the planet for touring. You may have a different opinion, and that's fine, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with having a different opinion. So that's okay. So back to the Royal Enfield Meteor 350. Um, what do you think? What do you think it looks like, first of all? Now, it's the J-Series platform, which is exactly the same as the Royal Enfield Classic 350, which, if you follow the channel, you'll know is one of my favourite bikes of all time. I think it's absolutely superb. This looks completely different, pretty much, doesn't it? But it's got the same engine, the same chassis, and many of the same parts, but a different sort of style. You've got the alloy wheels, and you've got, this one is more blacked out. There's loads of different colours. There's a colour for everybody. Um, but looks-wise, what do you think? For me, I don't think it quite makes the grade in terms of looks, but looks are subjective. Somebody would think this is great and not like the classic. Um, but I say it little, sort of lets itself down a little bit on the looks front in my mind, and I'm not keen on this uh, off-centre 
analog dial. Analog's good, but not the off-center part of it. And the blue writing in it, again, on the Super Meteor was the same. That looks wrong to me, that should be in the center. Over the next few days, I'm gonna take this Meteor 350 out for a good long test ride, as I always do. Then we'll do the filming separately. Um, so there's a good review of this coming. And if you want to see our original review of this, Darcy, uh, the, the channel, if you haven't seen this before, is Mr. Darcy and the old man. I'm the old man, Darcy's my son. Uh, he reviewed it about two years ago. He thought it was great, he loved it. Um, he had a bit of a camera problem that day and uh, didn't take the tripod, so he had to sort of balance his camera on a hedge. Uh, so the filming's not our usual quality, and he knows that. It's not, it's not an issue, but uh, he thought the bike was great. So go and watch that review, and then you can come back to this review in about uh, f you know, a few days or a week's time, uh, whenever we get it done, and see what we think of this bike today. Today's video is sponsored by Gothic Jewellery. Gothic is an online jewellery outlet which produce some really high quality products at some of the best prices on the market. Um, they very kindly sent me some rings, but it's not just rings that they do, they also do bracelets, pendants and even earrings. Um, and they've got loads of different designs and materials which you can choose from. I've gone for some Viking and skull themed rings here, which I'll show you now in the video. They're very nice quality and they fit really nicely as well. They're also doing a sale at the moment for Halloween, which is up to 25% off. But if you want to get even more off of your order, you can use the code Mr. Darcy, which is Mr. D-A-R-C-Y, which I'll put on the screen now, and you'll get even more off your order. So don't forget to click the link in the description to head to their website and you can check out all of the products that they offer. So uh, specifically in this video, we put the Gothic jewellery um, integration in and those rings are absolutely superb. They're really, really, really nice and their products are brilliant. Uh, so again, we wouldn't put them in if they weren't. So uh, just do check out the, the advertiser and click the link in the description and you can see what they offer. Last but not least, the weather is turning a bit rubbish at the moment and uh, well, it's been rubbish all year, but it's getting cold at night. So therefore uh, everything in the garage gets really cold. The metals get cold on the motorbike. And then when you get this damp air in the morning, uh, the condensation hits the bike. So I'm gonna have to put my bike into its sort of bike bubble again pretty much this week, I would say. It needs a bit of a clean. I've only ridden it four times this year. Absolutely pathetic. So uh, I will be riding it more in the future, of course, but it's been a rubbish year this year. Uh, so I'm gonna clean it up and put on some of that spray, um, what do they call it, ACF 50, that stops it rusting. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'll do a little video and talk about the bike. Uh, a few things I might do to it as well. So that's coming up in a future video. Lots of reviews to come, lots of interesting stuff that you don't want to miss. So we'll see you next time. Goodbye.